up there, guys. Uh, today, we we mark a truly historic anniversary anniversary in the realm of Batman. Um, now it was 25 years ago today, sep September 5th of 92, that the first episode of Batman the Animated Series hit the airwaves, guys. And for those of us that are familiar with Batman the Animated Series, which if you're not at this point, you've either been living under a rock or something or something else must have caught your interest up until this point hopefully but yes people it was 25 years ago today or or if not today this year that batman the animated series first came was given birth to by the creative genius of bruce tim and paul dini as well as the rest of the uh, brilliant minds over at Warner Brother, over at Warner Brothers and DC Entertainment. Now, guys, since this is Batman's 25th anniversary um, today and this year overall, I just wanted to take some time to uh, obviously re reflect on the tremendous 75-year history. Or actually, over 78 years of history that the Cape Crusader has had. Now, guys, in case any of us didn't know, Batman's first edition in the comics came out in 1939. So that means the Dark Knight has been entertaining us for over 70 plus years. And although, um, Adam West gave us our first glimpse of the uh, Dark Knight in live action and animated form. It was truly 25 years ago today that Bruce Timm decided to give birth to the true um, animated first version of Batman and I don't have to tell you guys how historic Batman the Animated Series was and still is to the um, animation industry because it literally um, single-handedly was the catalyst for not only that, that type of action cartoons um, to be brought to television and be put to animation, but it single-handedly also catapulted the the DC animated universe into uh in, into the the pop into the extraordinary phenomenon that it still continues to be today. Although the biggest thank you should not only go to Bruce Tim and Paul for giving birth to this classic so many years ago but i'd also like to give a special thank you to uh not only the, the late legend adam west for being the first person to uh bring batman to the uh, small screen but the biggest thank you should go to to the genius mind of bob kane who in 1930 Eight or thirty-nine decided to to create the truly historical giant and phenomenon that 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 Batman was and still to this day is. So, guys, today isn't just a celebration of Batman truly historic first animated series reaching its twenty-fifth birthday. I feel that this is also a truly special time to reflect on the entire legacy of this of this legendary Dark Knight hero and and truly 
I, I know there's an ultimate debate between who is better, Superman or Batman, but in terms of who is more historic, more complex, and just who who is the better written hero, I would have to give it to to Bruce Wayne, Batman, Joker, Bruce Jim, Paul Dini, Warner Brothers, Kevin Kevin Conway and Bob Kane and really quickly let's not forget um the brilliant voice cast that was responsible for giving these characters um that their iconic voices 25 years ago and still luckily to this day can continue to be those voices starting obviously with the Dark Knight himself, the legend, Mr. Kevin Conroy, who is the longest running person ever to have voiced everyone's favorite Dark Knight. And uh, an even bigger thank you should go to not only Mr. Luke Skywalker himself, but let's be honest guys, the iconic legendary voice of the Joker, Mark Hamill, who is still as menacing as Mr. J. Now, as he was in the animated series, in Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, um, may, may these two individuals especially still be able to be the voices of these two legendary characters for many years to come. And once again, a special thank you to just Bruce Tim and the entire team responsible for the genius that was and still is Batman the Animated Series. But the, the biggest thank you should, should go to the man himself. Thank you, Batman. Thank you, Bruce, for truly... Um, giving me many hours of entertainment. And yes, guys, Batman's 25 and alive.